If you're going to make a giant snowman grab your shovel, snow fencing, and chainsaws, that's how they do it in Manaqua. It's something else. Thursday, volunteer and nearby motel owner Jim Hartwig carefully walked the second tier to finish a snowman that hasn't appeared in a while. Seeing all the people driving by and waving, you know everybody's looking. It's tough to miss this big guy along Highway 51. He is named Snowy Cromer. The Ironwood, Michigan company who makes his size 96 hat won that namesake back in 2008. <laughs> But the tradition of building the Manaqua Snowman goes back to the 1960s. We're all a little tired. Chamber Director Crystal Westfall organized the build, which takes about three days. The toughest part? Packing the snow down after an excavation company piles it up. It takes a bunch of people to essentially stomp the grapes around the outside. So to give you a little perspective, I'm six feet tall, standing at the base here. This actually goes up to about eight feet high, but that's not even close to the total height. Way up top here, we're talking 30 feet high, which means crews are going to have to use a bucket truck to put a Stormy Cromer on Snowy. A team of six to eight helpers can build the snowman, but it takes a key supply. Recent winters were too warm, which meant no Snowy since early 2016. We were just lucky enough that we had accumulated enough snow up to, up to now. And while people's backs are crying uncle from shoveling snow, Manaqua is celebrating it. Anything that brings attention to the area is always a helpful. Knowing the return of the granddaddy of all snowmen means plenty of wintry weather business returning to town too. The name of the game is just to entertain the people that are, are coming up for the weekend and want to see something new and interesting.